is Dave on the Crafted Channel and there it is a new axle for this our 1967 Caravelle and look at the wheel notice the arch at the top of the wheel cutout is actually below the top of the rim this is a set of uh, collapsed uh, rubber torsion axles and it's a very common uh, problem with older Airstreams uh, so we're going to replace the axle we're doing it ourselves we ordered it through uh, Colin which is a uh, big Airstream restorer so hopefully we have the right thing here and the goal today is to get the trailer up in the air where we can uh, start doing what we have to do to remove the axle While you got your foot on the brake, just take it in and out of gear. clean up the ground here since I'm going to be working on it.
gonna be funny. So here we are under the trailer. And you need to make sure you put your block and your jack under the frame. Here's the frame going by in the back of the uh, step footwell. The step store is up in here. And I've raised the tongue of the trailer all the way up. Um, and this is as high as I can get this adjusted. And maybe I won't have to uh, jack the uh, front of the trailer up. Maybe I'll just have to jack up the back. This will save me a little bit of moving that big heavy jack around. Here we are on the left side. Of the This is bolted into the beam. So I know that beam is right here. looks good and solid. Now I'm going to take the weight off of the tongue and I'm going to watch this and make sure this doesn't trip so that I'll know that I have it centered on the beam. Now there's a slight gap between the floor and the beam. You can see that it pushed the uh, sheet metal up a little bit. I just don't want to crease it around the beam. So there we go. I've got the tongue off the ground. And we're resting nicely on both jacks left rear corner. We can see this heavy protector bar that protects the uh, trailer from bottoming out and taking the uh, uh, the black water, black and gray water nozzle out. I'm going to jack the trailer up by this. This is very heavy and strong and it's bolted directly to the frame. So I know the frame is right here right in front of it so this is where I'm going to establish my, uh, my jacking point. Everything's looking good. We've got the left rear wheel up off the ground now. Went just a little higher to get the back off the ground as high as the front. You can feel that beam. I think we can set her down now. Now it's not a good idea to use these jacks to lift the thing up high enough off the ground to take an axle out. That's not really stable enough or safe enough, I don't believe. Uh, but this heavy bracket is screwed to the uh, uh, to the frame under here, so I don't really see any harm in lifting the trailer up so that I can position my block, which I would like to be about in this area.
Okay, the first jack I put up on the uh, right front corner or curbside corner, I didn't have it as high as the other ones. So I'm actually resting on three points now instead of two. So we're going to have to go a little higher here. That should be good. Now I'm going to go around and wiggle all the jacks and make sure there's a lot of weight on all four of them. I don't want it teetering around while I'm underneath of it. All right, checked all the jacks. The left front one was uh, loose, so I jacked up the tongue a little bit, raised it up one more notch. Now all the jacks are tight with a lot of weight on them, so it's not going to be teetering around. So that's all for this episode. We got the thing jacked up in the air, and I've got one more safety procedure, which I'll show you when we get the wheels off. And uh, we're, getting, we're getting close. In part two, we'll get that axle out of there. This is Dave with the Crafted Channel. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. I'll share a lot of cool information with you, and you'll know how to do things like this too.